there has been much debate on the color of the borders that are commanded in Numbers chapter 15, verse 37 to 40. In Numbers 15, Yah instructs the Israelites to put fringes on the extremities of their garments and then to put violet on the extremities, but some Bibles say blue. And so this video is to explain why it's not blue. And I have many reasons so far. I have accumulated about 18 reasons to prove without a shadow of a doubt that the color is violet. The first reason would be Strong's Concordance. The word thakalat actually means violet in the original language, which is manakati, or as many of you know, ancient Paleo Hebrew. Now the translators do say blue in many translations, but some translations actually say violet. But if you check out the Strong Concordance, it does say violet. Check out Strong's number 8504, or just see it right here. This is an image of what you see as Strong's, and it doesn't say blue. It actually says violet. But then you have to ask the question, why would the King James translation and other translations say blue if the original language says violet? Well, there's an easy explanation. We have to look to the old English language. Now, I'm speaking concerning English. I really don't know what the other languages say, but the English language is a new language. When the English language first came to be, it's kind of um, unrecognizable. It doesn't look like English. This is an old English Bible um, of Psalms. And as you see, it says the Psalms of David. But look at the way Psalms is spelled. It's spelled differently. And the word David, and if you read it, um, it's kind of very hard to read. So this is a new language. The English language was actually closer to what you might uh, understand as German. Many words were borrowed eventually from other languages because the language was so new and incomplete. And this is part of the reason why the English language seems to be um, the universal go-to language because it actually incorporates many words from many languages. English has lots of Hebrew words currently, Spanish, French. There's many words from many languages because English is kind of like a mutt language. And so the English language did not have um, the word for violet, if you can believe it. Um, the next reason would be many Bible translations actually does say violet. This is just some translations. We have the New American Standard Bible, and it does say violet. Speak to the sons of Israel and tell them that they shall make for themselves tassels on the corners of their garments throughout the generations, and that they shall put on the tassel of each corner a violet thread. Now, um, look at the International Standard Version. Tell the Israelis that they are to make tassels at the edges of their garments. This translation is actually better because it uses the word edge, um, which the, the word kanap actually means edge. And some translations do say corners and it's incorrect. This International Standard Version does say it correctly. And then it continues throughout their generations that they are to put a violet cord on the tassels of the edges of their garments. But you know, then they're now they're going, um, they're saying cord and, but I mean, it's okay, it's a good translation. But as you see, it's it seems like it's up for debate, but it's really not. You're looking at, when you're looking at the King James translation and it says blue, it's because the, the English language was a new language and it was mistranslated. Although I don't wanna say mistranslated, when they said blue, they meant violet, but they didn't have a word for violet. Let me continue and you'll understand. Check this out. This famous poem, Roses Are Red, Violets Are Blue, and you know how the rest goes, but you know violets are not blue. Now, in our generation, you might find this poem quite stupid because violets are violet, right? Not blue. But the old English language looked at violet as a shade of blue because the word violet wasn't in their vocabulary. Okay, the word violet actually was borrowed from the French violette from the flower. And you can clearly see it's not blue. The next reason, the dye that the Israelites used to dye their um, borders, um, violet, came from a snail, which is violet. 
and this snail was very expensive dye. This this snail dye, a pound a pound of it, was worth like um, the weight of of gold. Apparently, one pound was 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 like valued like fifty six thousand dollars. One pound of this dye, so um, it was used very sparingly, and so this is a very regal dye. The Israelites attained their dye from the people who were called the Purple People. Um, so these people created a dye color called a Tyrian purple, which is violet. And as you see in this tapestry or rug, um, it's, it has a deep, dark purple color, which is violet. And, you know, it, it's a very expensive color. And this is, you know, what made their mark. This was their industry. And so if the Israelites got their dye from the people who call the purple people, and this was the color that they offered, why would you think it would be blue? Looking at some attributes of blue can give us a good idea on why the color would not be blue. Number one, blue is associated with being sad or depressed. This is because looking at the color or being around too much blue can eventually give you a feeling of sadness and depression. Why would y'all want us to put a color um, on the borders of our garments to remind us the commandments if it's associated with sadness or depression. Now I'm not saying blue is a bad color per se because blue is one of those colors that businesses tend to use because it's a color that it gives confidence and inspires loyalty and coolness and conservative conservativeness. It's not a bad color. You know, there's many good attributes um, for blue, but if you're around blue, too much blue, you're gonna start getting depressed. So much so, blue is associated with depression. Now let's compare um, the attributes of violet. Violet is the color of spirituality, and the energy is basically a blue and red combination which creates violet. And the color combination inspires reflection, self-awareness, it is the color of the sensitive and compassionate and intuitive soul. Violet has long been associated with royalty and characteristics of quality and luxury. Now, this might not be because of the color of violet, because looking at it, you know, it gives that feeling. There's another reason why it's associated with royalty, and I will cover that momentarily, but it definitely is the color of spirituality and imagination and sensitivity you know, humanitarianism, psychic, and religion. So the attributes of violet is very nice. Now, um, let's look at the, the process of making blue, blue in the old world. The process of making blue in the old world would not have been a method that Yah would have approved, and nor would he want that. Um, for the royal Israelites apparel. This is because the dye was usually made by people who drank a lot of liquor and got drunk. This is because the urine of somebody who drank alcohol needed to create the dye when they used um, this special leave called woad leave. And this is the process you can find online, woad um, spelled W-O-A-D. And you can also check out pigments through the ages. And they tell you that choosing the color of one's garments in the Middle Ages before the event of synthetic dyes was more of a question of money than a question of taste. Unlike other rare, expensive colors such as purple, blue was readily available. So the color blue could be attained in many different methods and it was readily available. It wasn't a special color. So why would Yah want the Israelites to put such a non-special color on the borders of their garments? It's not special. It was easily attained. The most important blue dyes was the Indian indigo or the somewhat less expensive and locally available woad. Manufacture of the dye involved fermenting the woad leaves with human urine, as I mentioned earlier. The fermentation is facilitated by the presence of alcohol in the mixture. So basically, the drunkard was the one who typically produced this. Um, the unusual method for the dyes was to drink alcohol and use the alcohol-enriched urine for fermentation. So this is your confirmation. 
it's not the die for for people who are the royal tribe of the Israelites. It's not. It's this is not our die. It's not the die that Yah would cho chose to represent keeping the commandments. Imagine a color blue that was made by by drunkards, and it was a common color. Think about it. More reason. The violet dye that the Israelites used were, was attained from the Tyrian people. They were called, like I said, the purple people. And this was a rich man's dye. This dye wasn't for the poor. The poor couldn't afford it. So much so, it was a color associated with the royalty. And this is part of the reason why the Games of Thrones had the cast members wear violet, a deep um, violet color, because of the history, the historical facts. And as you see, they were all wearing violet. Now, let's look at blue in the German, because, like I said, Old English comes from um, Germany. It has its roots, roots in German. It was founded in the German language. And so the word blue comes from the word blau. And if you notice, the adjective of blau in German for drunk is blue. So if you want to say someone's plastered or, or boozed, you know, you would say they're blau, they're blue. That's why, um, you know, like I said in English, the, the synonym for sadness is, is blue. But in German, blue means drunk. It could be because the dye, the history of the woad leaves being blue, you know, you had to be drunk to, to make the blue dye. So the color was associated with drunkard, drunkardness. Now let's look at the English language, the synonyms for blue. If you go to thesaurus.com and you put the word blue, you're going to get a bunch of adjectives for sadness because blue is associated with sadness. But did you know blue is associated with vulgar? Now, if you go to the Merriam-Webster dictionary online and you put the word blue, you'll get more information concerning this. You get crude, dirty, filthy, gross, pornography, porn. You really think Yah yeah, would want the blue color, which is associated with all these things, why? Why has blue come to be associated with lowness, naughtiness? I mean, look at the adjectives, even the word disgusting, repugnant. Why would blue be here? It must be the history of the dye. It was a common color. It's not a special color. Like I said, I like blue. Blue's fine, but the history of blue is not fine. Now let's look at another reason why some people think that the borders of numbers 30, 15 and 37 to 40 is blue. The Talmud confirms that it's blue. The Talmud, though, is a book of the Jewish people or Jewish people or Israel lie people. I don't know, you know, however way you want to pronounce these people, but these people believe in the Talmud. And the Talmud is not a book that I would call um, inspired by the Creator, Yah, uh, because the Talmud, it, it, it actually recommends abusing children, raping women, killing white people, enslaving white people, stealing money is okay, raping newborn babies. Ugh, I can't even read it. It's disgusting. I do not agree with the Talmud, but if you believe it's blue, perhaps you're actually following um, these people who claim to be Israelites. I'm not sure who they are. Um, I don't want to say that they are, they're not. It's not my job to define people. And, you know, if this video ends up on YouTube, you know, I, I'm not going to be anti-Semitic. I don't know who is Semitic. So if you say you are an Israelite, it is what it is. But I'm speaking concerning the Talmud. The Talmud says it's blue, and I personally do not agree with the Talmud. Now, let's look at mold. What color is mold? Mold is blue. Blue is associated with rottenness. And disgustingness. This is probably why blue has those attributes. Another reason why blue has those negative attributes. Mold is blue. <sighs> so finally, if you decide to continue to do blue, it's likely you're following a congregation or you're following man. Blue is a great color for those who are less studious. I personally cannot find many reasons why you would choose blue. The only reason you would choose blue is if your heart is hardened and, you, you know, like I said, you follow man. I don't see anybody who, would, after research and after I revealed all these facts, why anybody would choose blue. 
as the color for the bottom of their clothes. You just feel comfortable following man. But when man changes his mind, and are you going to change too when the vast majority of people change? You should change because you studied and it's correct and you should follow Yah and not man. And so this is my um, reasons why you should choose violet. If you do do set apart clothing, you should you should seek violet clothes, um, violet borders on your clothes. Shalom and visit HebrewGarments.com if you want um, set apart clothes, um, which I actually make. So feel free to order online or make it yourself. You know you. You can learn to sew and make your own clothes, but please, 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 don't make, um, don't put fringes on foreign apparel, apparel, and then put borders on it, because this is against the Torah. This is a, that would be another video. I made many videos concerning this. Visit um, hebrewgarments.com to get more information about the seven Torah clothing laws. Shalom.